This could be our last goodbye, our last goodbye, she never told me why. This could be our last goodbye, oh why won't we meet again? We watched her breathing through the night, through the night with a candle burning bright. She couldn't get to sleep that night, she won't have that problem anymore. My bathroom looks like a crime scene now, blood on the floor and the walls in the loo. Let's hope they never find her body or I'll be a dead woman too. Looks like I'm gonna need this. That doesn't look good. Is anybody there? According to my background check, Akuma was born near Greece. Relax. I have my bloody death bagel right here. <laughs> bloody death bagel? Shut up, whore. Wait, why would anyone have sympathy for this guy? No one knows who he is. I can fix that. If you shoot me, I'll sell you to a harem. Ooh, yeah. Let's get rid of the product. Smart one, buddy. But seriously, bloody death bagel? Shut up, whore! The scriptwriters can't spell! Normally whores can't spell either. That's just street lingo. I said shut up! Wow, that was professional. Cinnamon, we already discussed that he's not interested in sounding professional. Oh yeah! I forgot about that! Short attention span! You're as bad as Rebeus. That guy's human boy toy. He's the only human in Librius Boss. The rest are sparkly supernatural beings or some shit like that. The character sheet should tell us. Let's see. Akuma and Zero. Angel. <laughs> Are they shitting me? Sin Starling. Nimmel, which is apparently a vampire nymph crossbreed. Duke. Seriously? Doral. Demon. Elibrius Falcon. Half demon Malima, which is some sort of demigod on his home galaxy. Usagi Den Huistia. Human. That's a shocker. Desmoda Grace. Nimmel. Fennel Koguyo. Half Nimmel, half unknown. A non Koguyo, where Wolverine. Orion and Zero, demon who used to be an angel. That sounds like a shopping list for Trader Joe's. I'm sure the director of Excel Saga is feeling very confident. Oh, poo. You're no fun at all, Libby. I am so. There goes elegance and composure. There go. There go! Go there! Be elsewhere! Looks like I was wrong and you don't care about her.
or information. Wait, why exactly should we care about this Akuma person you're kidnapping or whatever? I expect he's still sticking around to rub it in everyone's faces that he's taking her. Then again, he could not have the intention to actually abduct her. It was just a guess. Is he taking her out to dinner, or doing uncouth things to her body? Hmm, that's a good question. To your question, Ted, he's doing uncouth things to a body. Technically. Wait, Akuma Scenery? I thought she was meant to be a character on this show. give humanity too much credit. Yeah, and you make aliens too godlike. We have too many aliens on the show, including me. Sure we care, we just have a funny way of showing it. Plus, one of us is kind of drunk. Elsewhere be... Here be ogres! Elsewhere be trolls! No, I think all the trolls are currently in this room. Damn it! For a moment I'd almost succeeded in forgetting about her. Trogers. Tree ogres! Ogre trees! Bumblebees! Uh, sorry, what were you saying, Dural? Isn't Dural a character from Virtual Fighter a female character? You are idiots! The whole lot of you and not a single one with any brains or power! Disgusting! It's better than what was coming out of his mouth ten minutes before the show started. Ugh. Seriously though, when I first read the script, I knew that guy had to be in bed with someone from the production team to have a character on the show. I didn't say what they were doing in bed now, did I? Speaking of which, when the hell is our director? He was supposed to be here ten minutes ago. And I think I just answered my own question. Uh, again, drunk. Oh, is that all? We hear that all the time. <sighs> Especially while playing word association on the set. What were you planning to do with Miss Akuma? Nothing much. Just grabbing a bite to eat. That reminds me of that one saying, if mean people suck, nice people swallow. How big of a bite? Does it matter if I was to drain her dry? Let's take a vote. No.
Maybe. Maybe. Fuck no! Yes. Yeah. Define dry. host is dead, her soul have to leave, right? Think of the power it holds, and it will be mine to control. Doral's and Akuma's lines are written by the same person. have two original writers, a few additional commentary writers scattered here and there, and then one idiot who writes himself in a few cameos, so I think about six. Sucks to be her, then. I'll say. Ooh, shiny. I will be a god with her power! <laughs> Power doesn't define godliness. What would you do as a god? Or semi-god, or whatever? What do you care, whore? Dude, there's a difference between a prostitute and a stripper. Look it up. I'm curious. I used to be one. What, a stripper or a prostitute? A demigod. Oh, good! I gave up my power to be with the person I love. And you are a fool! Far from it. Have you ever known love? Biblically? No, and nor do I care! <laughs> then you are weak. Not with her power in my hands. And by power, he means breasts. What breasts? I was so lonely as a deity. Boo hoo, God. I had nobody. Now I have found one whom I love above all else. He's the source of my fulfillment, my true power. What do you hope to achieve by taking Akuma? She is one of the old ones! Lovecraft is scared. The power she holds, she can even bring back the dead. Wouldn't you kill for that power? You'd have to kill anyway to make sure it worked, dum-dum. Bored now. No, I don't have interest in necromancy. Rubeus is all I need. Then stop annoying me and leave me to my meal. You're the one who keeps responding. Why are you telling us about your meal, anyhow? Is he done yet? 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 Um, no. Eating is fun. So is posting. Up and down, back and forth, faster, faster. Cruel intentions too, right? I don't recall. Bye now! That was a good meal! Oh, 
She'll give her regard to that bastion fellow in hell. What was that about, Bastion? Hey, Sanji, I think he's done now. Damn it. Now I'm hungry. Feed me, <laughs> master. Not now, you Sanji. Don't worry. They are both safe. What is this, a baseball game? Hello, Lee. Hello to whomever the hell I'm speaking now. Relax. I mean no harm. You don't know me, but I know you. Biblically? If that pathetic SOB raped me in my sleep, I would be pissed. Well, he said he knew us. He didn't clarify whether or not he meant that he knew us in the biblical sense. He also stated that he knew us without our knowledge, so it follows that he also knew us without our consent. Your name, please. I see you are still demanding as ever, your majesty. There is no way in hell this moronic poser is in any way related to me. You know your real surname's not ice, right? Shouldn't you be janiting? Yes, yeah, some things never change. Will you tell me your name, please? No. I think not. Then why did you tell us that's what your name is? It might be best for all parties involved. What, that you lie about your name? But I will say this, however. Akumina Torina was right about what she has seen. Maybe a child is just what you need. Yeah, collect the whole set. Go right ahead! We won't stop you! Perhaps. Why did you call me Majesty? I am not the ruler of my land. That'd be the Jitsi Redhead over here. No. But you are a ruler nonetheless, Majesty. He's really not. Only of you, Saji. So, Bastion and Akuma are safe? Yes, Akuma and her host are safe. A little weak, but safe. As for your friend, I cannot help him now. He must help himself. And who knows? Maybe if you lost a cherished pet, things might have more value in them. Majesty. Or if your favorite horse became ill, what is this Nick at night? He isn't my pet. Again, that's Usagi. Thank you for saving Akuma at any rate. Bastion can't help himself. He has absolutely no experience with things like this. That and he's kind of a dimwit. <laughs> kind of.
In my never humble opinion, you're being too generous. What if I was talking about your lovely rabbit? Me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. Then who? If your master isn't more careful, something could happen to you that he might regret. I doubt it. And as for your other friend, Bastion, he is safe from otherworldly forces. He regrets buying me! Usagi, that's not true. Then maybe it's your death. That will make him see the light. Oh, so how can it be that you have shown me the light? It's a brand new day and the sun is high. All the birds are singing that you're gonna die. How do you know be safe? I met him just days ago. I really feel sorry for the boy. He might be better on our side. Usagi, I've never regretted taking you in. You've been a great friend. Days ago... Thursday? No, my dear. On the day of sex. It's his fancy way of saying Saturday. He sent me an email Thursday afternoon saying he had a plan and he'd be back in a couple of hours. I still haven't heard from him. Is it safe to assume he's still alive? In a way, yes. In a way? Yes, but I can't tell you any more. But he's not cool enough to be undead. <coughs> I do not like interfering with mortals much. So, it is not my place to say, but do tell your rabbit that his days are growing short. I don't care. I wish you'd tell me more. Bastion and I are engaged to be married. How do you know what will or won't happen to my Usagi? Well then, my dear rabbit, should you ever have a change of heart, you can always call for me. As for that, your majesty, it is not within your power. No, but how would you know? Worried.
Sounds like a regular politician. Nice. How the hell am I supposed to call for you when I have no fucking idea who you are? Curious, why would he be a target? He's human. Uh, if you ever change your mind, young rabbit, and wish for a better master who would love you and give you your heart's desire, just call for Orion. We have plenty of masters that would love to have you as a companion, and you would be treated like royalty. I love you, Librius. That will never change. But he will never love you in return. That must hurt. Never is a strong word. But you know in your heart that it is true. I love him as a friend and a companion. If anything did happen to Bastion, I would have a chance, but I don't wish anything bad for the boy. We do, we do! Then I pity you. You will never have the love you need or deserve. But I must be going. She will wake soon and not wish to see me. However, should your jinx ever catch up to you, you know what to call. Ghostbusters! Hey, if you're a good guy, why wouldn't she want to see you? Well, for some reason these people care about Akuma, and he saved her for being Omnom by Doral. Um... Yes? Are you, like, her ex or something? Oh my. Imagine if Lenore should appear. And next I see your beloved Bastion in his delicate state. I will tell him that you send your love. Can't have a feel- Wait, what? What delicate state? Wait. He's pregnant and Anne Boleyn's the father! Also, tell him if he lost my drawings, he's dead meat. Farewell. RAGE QUIT! Yeah, did you get that last part? Uh, he knows that much anyway.